Hello everyone, welcome to Chess Fight, and today I'm going to show you the game between Wesley Ivanchuk vs Arthur Yusupov. So, this game was played in 1991 in Brussels, in Britain. So, all those who have not heard the name of Arthur Yusupov, I want to say that Arthur Yusupov is a Russian grandmaster who, who is also a chess writer and he lived in Germany in 1990s. So, he also composed some chess books which you can search in Google and as you know that Wesley Wanchuk is just a very strong grandmaster and just very aggressive and attacking player and it was also predicted that he was going to be a world champion soon but okay he wouldn't be able to be but as we know that these both players play a very fantastic chess so it is going to be a pleasure to see this game. So Wesley Wanchuk is white and Arthur Yusupov is black. So let's start the game. So Wesley started with c4 and Arthur replied with e5, the English opening. So here Wesley played g3, trying to put the bishop on g2, e3, knight e2 and castle. So here Arthur played d6, bishop g2 and now g6. The idea is to play bishop g7 and even knight e7 castle. So Arthur and Ivan both wants to put the bishop on g2 and g7. So here Wesley played d4, opening of the position. Here knight to d7, knight to c3, bishop to g7, knight to f3, preparing for castle. Here, knight to f6, castle and castle. So, both side castle. So, here, Ivanchuk played queen to c2, rook e8. So, both players are just developing their pieces. Here, rook to d1, putting the rook on the d file to give some, some pressure to the queen on d8. So, here, c6, b3. So, Ivanchuk wants to put the bishop on b2 and give some pressure on e5 pawn so here Arthur played queen to e7 and after queen to e7 there are many moves white can even take, white can even play e3, e4 or white can even push the pawn on d5 but Ivanchuk choose a very surprising move which is bishop to a3 it is not surprising but it is just out of moves yes the idea of bishop a3 is that now the d6 pawn is pinned and white is going to take the pawn on e5 so that the d pawn cannot take because the queen is hanging. So here Arthur played e4 just pushing up the pawn and getting some space in the center and now the bishop on g7 is also opened. So after e4 Ivanchuk played knight to g5 and now e3 just just making pawn structure very weak and now the white pawn on e2 is not going to is just permanently backward pawn and the arthur e3 pawn is just too strong so here ivanchuk played f4 knight to f8 plan can be to play h6 or even knight e6 preparing to trade the knights so here b4 so Ivanchuk wants to play on the queen side by playing b5 rook b1 so here Arthur played bishop to f5 attacking the queen on c2 here Ivanchuk played queen to b3 there could be some problems on f7 pawn by after playing c5 or even preparing for d5 so here h6 just kicking the knight from the g5 square knight to f3 knight to g4 and knight to g4 is very good move practically because black wants to put the knight on f2 and attack the rook on d1 something like h3 is met with knight to f2 and attacking the pawn on h3 as well as the rook so something like rook f1 knight into bishop into bishop into and here black is just completely winning in this position and if white doesn't play h3 then 
knight, knight would have a very good square on f2. So here Ivanchuk played b5. So Ivanchuk know that he is out of moves in the king side. So he started to play on the queen side as his pieces are on the queen side also. So after b5, here Arthur played g5, opening up the position and creating some weaknesses on this pawn. So after g5, here Ivanchuk played b into c6, just focusing on the queen side at the, we can see the Ivanchuk's light square bishop on g2 is just keeping an eye on these squares. So there could be some chances. So after b into c6, Arthur played b into c6 and now knight to e5. Knight to e5 is not a sacrifice though guys because the d pawn is pinned because the because of the bishop. So here yeah, something like bishop and knight only can capture the knight because pawn is pinned. And now the bishop on g2 is attacking the c6 pawn and the knight is also attacking the c6 pawn. So white is targeting the c6 pawn. So here Arthur played g into f4. Here knight into c6 attacking the queen on e7 and there could be some chances of moving the knight and just giving some discover attacks on e8. So here queen to g5. So now Arthur is just focusing on the king side to attack Ivanchuk's king. So here Ivanchuk played bishop into d6 just being a pawn grabber and just grabbing pawns and here Arthur played knight to g6 putting some pieces on the king side so now knight to d5 so uh, Ivanchuk is just controlling all the center squares and playing on the center and he's going to try something like knight e7 check so just Ivanchuk is just completely playing on the queen side and the center and Arthur is only playing on the king side just going for all in so after knight to d5 here Arthur played queen to h5 and the plan is to take the h2 pawn and checkmate the white king so here uh, Ivanchuk played h4 which is just very natural and here Arthur gone for the sacrifice knight into h5 h h4 because something is going to be open because if Arthur, Arthur will doesn't do anything that Ivanchuk is just going to come in knight into h4 here g into h4 here queen into h4 and the idea is to play queen h2 check so here knight to e7 check king to h8 here knight into f5 and here just Arthur given just too many pieces so we can see that Arthur is just attacking so knight into f5 here queen to h2 check king f1 is forged and now rook to e6 planning to play rook g6 and giving some pressure on the g bishop on g2 so here Ivanchuk played queen to b7 attacking the rook on a8 and trying to take it on the next move so here Arthur just played rook g6 he just totally ignored the rook on a8 because he just wants to attack the bishop on g2 because the king cannot go to d2 or f2 because the pawn on e3 is just covering both the squares so after, so after rook to g6 Ivanchuk played queen into a8 check and king h7 and in this position uh, it is very hard to find the move for white because something like let's take a random move something like knight into g7 just taking the bishop now comes a very powerful threat of checkmate try to find it if you can for those who have found it congratulations on finding queen h1 check the sacrificing the queen here bishop into h1 is forced here knight to h2 check king e1 is forced and now rook g1 checkmate yes just a back rank meet we can say so it's very interesting so this 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 was the threat of arthur so knight into g7 is not possible so ivanchuk 
have found the only way to just move on the game. Queen g8 check, sacrificing the queen on g8. So here king into g8 fourth. Okay, knight to e7 check. So Arthur is going to take the rook on g6, or he is just going to be mated. So after knight e7 check, king to h7, knight into g6, f into g6, attacking the knight on f5. Here knight into g7, and here knight to f2. Here Arthur didn't capture the knight on g7, and he just played knight f2 and it looks like white is just holding this position because queen cannot come to h1 because the bishop is protecting covering the h1 square the queen cannot come to g1 and if knight even take the rook on d1 then after rook into d1 white is having these d and c pass pawn which is going to be queen so nothing much is happening so here ivanchuk played bishop into f4 here Arthur played queen into f4, here knight to e6 attacking the queen on f4, so here queen to h2 back, just, so here the idea of Arthur is to play knight to h3, very deadly move, trying to checkmate on g1 and something like let's make a just a normal move, something like a4, a sample line, here comes knight to h3, threatening a mate on g1. So your bishop into h3 is forced and now queen to f2 checkmate so here black so white cannot stop the checkmate so here uh, uh, at the place of a4 here Ivanchuk tried rook b1 giving some check and getting some idea so here um, Arthur played knight to h3 plan is to checkmate on g1 so here Ivanchuk played rook to b7 check King to h8, here even h8 on in, in g8, both are possible, both are winning moves. But okay, Arthur gone for king to h8. And here, Arthur, I had want to play rook to b8 check. Just trying to take the rook and getting something. So just after a knight into, a bishop into h3. Uh, so there would be some chances of Ivanchuk to play on the game. Um, and here actually Arthur just simply take queen into b8 and after bishop into h3 it looks like white is holding or it is better but here comes a powerful move queen to g3 now here white cannot defend itself because here queen is just covering all the squares here white pawn is just covering the square and black is going to play queen f to checkmate and here White cannot do anything. He can. White cannot stop the checkmate. So after Queen G3 on the 39th move, Vasily Ivanchuk resigned the game and Arthur won the game. So it was a very brilliant game, guys. If you like this game, then please like my video, subscribe my channel, and thank you for watching.